Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. She's inside Kunda. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adare. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. What do you want? I don't have time for cursed salvagers. Well, you don't look like a damn mercenary and you don't smell like a stinking farmer. Why else would you be here? If you're not a salvager, then I don't even want to know why you'd go to the Enclave. Is this gonna take long? I'm busy, you know. Can't you tell? I'm a mechanic. In fact, I'm the only mechanic here in Kunda. I'm responsible for maintaining everything mechanical or electrical at the Kunda outpost. That damned alien has set up a shop outside Kunda. If you ask me, I think he's stripping the machinery around Kunda and selling it back to us. I'd like to see you do a better job at fixing the droids, security doors, and gun turrets. Now quit bugging me. You again. What do you want? I'm busy. Can't you... Greetings. I could be said. If you... Greetings, and may I... My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Greetings, Jedi. Welcome back to Dantooine. Hey, did that droid just call you a Jedi? May I be of further service to you, Jedi? No mistake about it. That droid is calling you a Jedi. Yeah, sure you do. I've got to tell the others.
You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. I will answer your questions. She was the agricultural administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attacked, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here would be mercenaries. We'd had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a bandit is just a vibra blade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, food, or whatever just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on calf hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. Kunda used to be Old Man Matali's estate, but he didn't do so well during the war. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I think Tarn has finally cracked. Running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot, to be sure. But he seemed genuinely frightened. And perhaps he did see something. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant. And never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. The salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garabit is the first. If it weren't for the Jedi, we'd be a prosperous community. Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes? No friendly greetings are here for you. You act like I have insulted your man. Your ship I haven't seen. But if it takes after you, it can't be in perfect condition. I am done being inconvenienced by you. Another, in another interruption. You must not have... Visitor, please come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adare. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. I'll take it as a given that the vessel is indeed yours. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dontuin before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. That is an unfortunate truth, and a wise request, which, of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dontuin. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. 
I feel I must step carefully here. You are not like other Jedi I have known. You seem darker somehow. Yes, I understand. Say no more. For good or ill, I feel you are the only one remaining who can help me with the present situation. My friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantuin not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Many mistakenly believe that Jedi are paragons of honesty. I've dealt with far too many to be fooled by this reputation. You want answers I'm not comfortable giving right now. But in time, with trust, we may be able to communicate more freely. I do need your help. Vrook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? This could work to both of our advantage. You can search for artifacts for your own interest, and also for Vrook at the same time. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll just make my headache worse if I talk about it. I don't know what we'd do without Administrator Adare. She managed to plow through a lot of the family bickering once the Sith left during the war. She's kept us together. Oh, and, uh... Zeron, too, I suppose. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a rancor, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps po- So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure. Just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well then maybe he should be replaced. Just look around, see if Zeron's up to something on the side, something that'll hurt the fragile peace we got with the mercenaries. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see Administrator Adare if you have to do some footwork to check into things, you'll be compensated. We should probably talk about something else. I hate going behind the captain's back. I just feel... Uh, I just have a feeling about it. All right, stay out of trouble now.
Captain here, are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? Depending on how greedy you are, we might have some work for you. Before that, though, you got any other reason for coming to Militia Headquarters? You could pick worse places to look for that. Baroon is normally the one to go with questions. But I can answer a few things for you. If you're interested, I might have some work for you, too. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Two thousand credits. That's all I can ask. You want something? Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such, or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. Garavik says he won the whole claim in a Pazak game with the last survivor, right before he killed him. But that was a fair fight. There were witnesses. But nobody remembers Garavik ever playing Pazak. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim off my hands. I'm tired of those low lives pestering me. We've got real work to do. You want something? A lot of people here hate... Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. I'm here to get another pat in the back from the administrator and hear how unfortunate my situation is. That my problem is important and they'll get around to it. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us, at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrix came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. I went to their camp to get back my moisture evaporator. This smug fellow Joran told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it belongs to him now. He said he'd give it to me for the bargain price of 500 credits. I wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I paid this scoundrel. Now the moisture evaporator doesn't work because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Joran is offering to sell me a modulator he found for another 500 credits. I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp 
and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. Charanana. You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. It's just a habit. We warn people that the area around Kunda is dangerous, but some of them don't listen. Probably nothing you can't handle, but I'd stay clear of the caves all the same. The Kinrath have been tunneling for years. Those caves have a whole swarm of them. We've collapsed a couple of the caves, but they just come right back. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Kunda on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Hmm, that's just a great attitude. Sorry to waste your time. Maybe
Jutta pak mito, hai best niks at ochim mapauk. Ja tuka u wan rika cho.
Krempawi cho simaranta weba gono rimbo. Harandoto, jun sorito mas, jurun makagrodo soto. Yatuka, u wanrika chotin wanima orata wakat. Yatuka, u wanrika chotin wanima orata wakata, che luma lithba. Bramta banin sochu. The Yatuka, u wanrika. Bramta banin sochu. The come just mak me. Kavanata Galu Huta Yanolia, Jukta Kavanata Galu Kavanami Donki Grat Yatuka U Wanrika Chotin Wanim Aurata Wakata Che Luma Lithba Bram Tabanin Soch Yatuka U Wanrika Chotin Wanim Aurata Wakata Charika Yayakta Thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil.
The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force. The crystals here are infused with the force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. crystals bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. General, need something? Yes, General? Why did you decide to fight? I felt the... I did... I could... I was... A General, need some.
General, need something? Sorry, yes. As long as you don't mind having me around, I moved around. And I don't think I'll be this. Most I, I, I found. It's good. Something else I. Saber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life 
for yours. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's... well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Why did you decide to fight? I felt the same way. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. Revenge, and to crush the Mandalorians to send them back to wherever it was they came from. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I wanted to destroy them, to give them the mercy they gave the people they conquered. I remember the thrill I felt when we fought them in battle. Victories were rare, but we celebrated every Mandalorian's death. Do you know how it felt? It's always on my mind now. That loss of control blinded me, turned me into a weapon. I just needed to get that off my chest. Was there something you wanted me for? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. He helped me. I was only kidding. But it... Something else. Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing a lens. Something else I can help you with?
cara nanagun. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You're really not so bad, you know? They make our life difficult. They need to learn respect for those with superior strength. Can I help you? Just trying to make a living. At least there's still people in the galaxy who know our value. It's not glamorous work, but a man has to eat, right? Smells like another salvager's come to our camp. Vacate, mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm a real soldier, and you're just a trainee with a dart gun. Don't you dare compare yourself to me.
What? I'm a veteran of the Jedi Civil War. I fought dozens of battle-trained Republic soldiers. You're going to die. You've given me all the excuse I need, outsider. You're dead now. You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. You don't look like you're gonna crawl around the ruins. If you want to go to the sublevel, you are going to need the administrator's permission, though. Well, you're welcome to go down there and die. The Lagrex are hungry and could use a treat. If you're not going to listen to anybody, maybe you can help me out. The only place that has anything is the sublevel, and only a couple of fools have gone there. And they're now dead fools. Yeah, I'd like to do the decent thing and get their bodies and put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. Plus, salvagers that are still here have to stick together. I've been here the longest, and I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got.
Charanana Gun. that you go assert Yes, General? Let me see what you have. No, you're still missing a lens. Something else I can help you with? Yes, General? What? Who is that? You go... Sir. Sorry. 